what is going on we are back today we got a 2015 ford edge titanium now this is the top of the line and this one is also budget friendly as well so this one ain't gonna crack the bank on you now it does have the 2.0 liter eco boost in it and uh it's putting out 245 horsepower so you got a nice little pep to it um only thing this vehicle doesn't have is the roof right there you don't get no sunroof no panoramic no nothing but everything else it has it is loaded like when i say loaded it has everything but um <clears throat> still the same design as the current ones the 2019s that they got out this just the 2019s look a little bit sportier in the front but uh as you can see titanium badging with the all-wheel drive eco boost badge as well Very nice, got that like pearl whitish color to it. So this is a Ford certified pre-owned vehicle as well. So you do get a, um, a warranty with this one as well if you buy it from them, because it is certified pre-owned. So you will get a uh, seven year limited powertrain, 100,000 mile, trying to clean that up. Y'all probably won't even be able to see it no ways, but uh, yeah, you get the, the warranty with it and all. So this is the white um, platinum metallic tricoat. That's what they call it. White platinum. It's very nice. Man, it's freezing out here. <laughs> so this is the key for, you know, typical four keys that they do for like even a, a big F-150s and all of that. They try to keep it with the same key. I like the key design. This one does have a... Um, automatic start as well probably not even gonna work for me because they never want to work but uh let's see how how do you start this up so i just locked the doors see if you just got to push that and let's see hopefully it starts up for us yep it started up so it's quite a little start up got the dual exhaust right there i'm gonna get y'all the, the uh exhaust note real quick Eco boost growl. <laughs> Man, I, I'm, I'm really starting to like for it. Like for what it is, I think it's a go, good quality vehicle. I was never really a Ford fan until I started reviewing some Fords. I'm just be honest. I was always that Chevy guy, but now, yeah, tables have turned. So right here, you got the LED. You don't have it in a in a headlight up here, but you got it down here. So that's your LED light right there. The daytime running light, nighttime light as well. Very nice. Now this is 2015. Oh, I didn't even mention, but um, I said it was budget friendly price wise. They only want 27,000. Like I think it's 27,490. It's on the website um that's not bad at all really let me go ahead and pop the hood for y'all real quick then we're going to talk about that inside real quick man bear with me <laughs> so there's the engine right there that's what i was saying with the um if y'all saw the Range Rover video, I don't know how I'm going to put these videos out. I'll probably put the Range Rover video out just because I addressed some stuff of where I was at for the past few weeks. So, that's most likely going to come out today. Well, y'all would have been synced it by the time this video came out. But, yeah, y'all probably won't see this video until Wednesday, which will be December. What's today? I don't even know. See, I'm so messed up with my dates. That'll be December 13th. No, the 12th. 
Yeah, December 12th, y'all will probably see this video. Well, y'all will see this video. Ain't no problem to it, but yeah. So, you got the 2.0 liter V6 engine in it right there, putting out 240 horsepower. That's what I said. If y'all saw the Range Rover video or the Invoke, that looks like the same engine, in my opinion. But I could be wrong. That's, that's a good looking uh, SUV right there. It's all wheel drive, fully loaded, minus the sunroof or panoramic roof, whichever one they come with. But for the most part, that's a nice looking vehicle. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get in because my hands are froze. I even got on gloves <laughs> and I'm still cold. So right here, you got some soft touch material. You don't have a lock button, you got the little little red light that that lights up when you lock it so you got the memory seats right here your unlock buttons soft touch materials everywhere a little plastic right there you know you got to get the little play it's not a luxury vehicle but you know you got that little plastic so they got to cut cost somewhere it's not a luxury vehicle like i said so you got plastic down here as well but that's where it needs to be so you won't scuff it up so i'm loving this interior right here because you know i hate boring leather boring leather to me is like just black leather black on black that's just boring to me like now if you got if you going for like the murdered out look to the car okay that's fine but me myself i personally wouldn't go to a dealership and just get black leather that's just to me that's that's boring i like to have light i don't know light leather just looks like the car just more brighter and just brings more joy to me to the vehicle so right here you got the I'm going to call that the cappuccino leather. Very nice look to it. Back seats look nice. Let's go ahead and get in it though. Like I said, it's freezing out there. So you got the uh, the sync system in here. The Sony. Man, I can't even think right now, y'all. Just bear with me. <laughs> I'm freezing. Oh, uh, how you turn on this heat? <laughs> All right, we're going to turn on it. I'm, I'm going to take y'all through the features in a second. I just got to turn this heat on. I'm over here freezing. Like, I can't even feel my fingers, really. All right, there we go. Now, I don't know where, where it's blowing at, but we'll figure it out. As long as we got some heat coming on in here. So, you got the typical four gauges right there. It say the hood is a jar. So, let's go ahead and close that up real quick. I don't know why it says that and we close the hood. So let's go ahead and close that up. So the hood is now closed. Also on the on, on the doors out here, you got the little sensors right here where you can touch them and it unlocks the doors and stuff. You ain't even gotta take the key out your pocket. So let's get in now. Alright, it still say the hood is ajar, so we'll just leave that alone. Cause the hood ain't a jar but uh right there you got your rpms off to the side now this vehicle is a pre-owned like i said and they want um twenty seven thousand four hundred and ninety dollars it only has twenty three thousand miles on it it's a 2015 um you do have apple carplay android auto as well in here you got paddle shifters right here behind the steering wheel on both sides you got the push button start as well you got all your cruise control buttons right here then you got your phone, volume, all of that good stuff. So you can cycle throughout that menu over there to the side. I know that sun is glaring over there, so let me try to try to get y'all a better view. So you got the tire pressure, all of that good stuff, the intelligent all-wheel drive. So you got everything right there. It tells you everything about the vehicle. So driver assist settings all of that stuff is right there so we're gonna go ahead and get out of that and then off to the side over here you can control that side whatever you want to do the phone entertainment whatever you want to do to it right there so with that button right there that controls that one over there this button over here controls that little menu over there so it's easy simple layout then right here, you get the storage up here. Ford has been doing this for years, putting a little storage up there. It's pretty cool. 
you don't realize it until because I actually got a, a a Ford as well. You don't realize how convenient it is until you actually have it. Cause when I first got it, I'm like, man, who actually put stuff in there? And I started putting all my stuff in there. It's pretty convenient. I like it. So you still get a CD player in here as well. I'm pretty sure that's probably the maps or something. Let's see. No disc. So no, it's not the maps. So, but uh, let's go out through the menu real quick. So you got the clock display all of that that's the settings right there so i don't know if you if you get navigation in here i mean it's got the compass thing right here um once you add your phone then it'll come up with whatever it is it needs to be or whatnot but um you could change your door keypad code oh yeah let me show you that also this vehicle does have uh ambient lighting as well i'll be forgetting about four sometime because you know so right here on the outside of the door, you got your keypad right there that lights up. All four vehicles have that when you get to the upper trim level, which is nice because you don't even need to, say for instance, you're just running outside, you left your key in the house and you like, man, I got to run all the way in just to get the key. Nah, just type in your code. You got the ambient lighting. You can change the lighting. I don't know where the ambient lighting is at because it's, it's so light outside right now. So probably can't even see where it's at. But uh, yeah, you got ambient lighting in here as well. You got your vehicle health report. So that's when you want to set your um, reminders for your different things and all of that stuff. I mean, it's a pretty simple um, layout stuff. Pretty cool. So you got your entertainment down here. I don't know if that radio is on. I'm going to make sure it ain't. Okay, so got your information right there. There you go. Different stuff. Just just services, alerts, all of that stuff is right there. Add a phone, then you got your climate right there that you could do. So yeah. There's your climate. There it is. Everything is simple right there. So each one of the four corners, that's how you add your phone. Then you can switch to your phone once it's added and, and uh, information. Then you, you climb it right there. And then this is the, the radio that we're in right now. So heated seats, buttons right here, rear defrost, front defrost, all of that good stuff. AC buttons. That's all your climbing buttons. We ain't going to go through each one of them. That's what it does. That's what it is. You got dual climate control right here is your your dual your climate control for the driver that's passenger over there you got the sd card slot the line in for the aux cord then you got your two usbs you got a little pocket down there we can sit your phone at electronic parking brake let's see how that reverse camera look okay so you got a nice little reverse camera man these seats are, are soft too you got your cup holders right there with the key sitting in there right now. You got your little storage pocket, two part, lift it up. You got a 12 volt charger and deep storage down there as well. Man, the part I dread, I gotta get out. Let's show y'all this back seat, man, it's freezing. So let's go ahead and get out. So in the back seat back here, let me close this door. Same materials on this back door that's on the front door. You got your little cup holder integrated into the door. Storage pockets on the back of the seats. Nice leather. Let's get in here real quick. So you got climbing in the back back here too. So they get their vents. You got your cup holders here. Push that up. Back seat is more than enough room. Leg room is great. Head room is great. Good. Got your lights right up there. Take it around to the cargo area. We're gonna open that up for y'all in a second too, but from back here, front looks very nice. Let's go ahead and open it up in the back. It is automatic. It probably has that little foot thing too. I didn't even think about it until after it opened, but you got the weather tech mats back here. You got a spare tire down there as well.
Then you got your seats right here where you can lay them down. They are power. You lift them up. There you go. Well, they don't lift up. You gotta lift them up on your own. But them buttons is right there. Then you got your 12 volt right there. Let's go ahead and close that up. Just like that. Let's go ahead and open up this back. Let's put that seat up. Man, them some heavy seats. <laughs> Almost took me under. You also got a 12 volt down there as well. Like I said, it's a, it's a nice little SUV. It's not going to break the bank either. $27,490. There you go. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next. Thanks for watching.